Patton Oswalt sitting here with the lovely and intelligent Michelle McNamara, my wife and creator of one of the best written and creepiest crime blogs on the web. I just obsessed over it. What drives me is the need to put a face on a unknown killer. I saw the news today about the I'll Be Gone in the Dark miniseries coming to HBO. Yes. What's been the roller coaster of like response to like working on that book, response yeah. to the book? It is a roller coaster. I don't want to, obviously, I don't want to dwell on that horrible, dark part of, you know, of my life and of Alice's life and, and, of, and of Michelle's family's life. Um, but there was some real, um, deep and intense work that she did um, in terms of uh, benefiting, you know, the victims of these crimes and, you know, just a, a bigger sense of justice in the universe. So I didn't want the book to be left undone. And I also didn't want there to be this, what's the effect of him being captured for the victims, for the families. And when Liz Garbus, you know, approached me about how we would structure this, which is about Michelle's life and passing and then, the aftermath of it all, it, it was hard for me to say no. After my husband and daughter fell asleep, I hunted the killer with my laptop. She was doing two things at once. She was writing a book and she was trying to solve a case. And I'm an exec producer on it. I helped, you know, gather as many materials as I can and, and put together as many interviews as I can. But it was Liz that did the bulk of the work. Just like with the book, there was only so much I could do because I was so emotionally attached, I couldn't have physically or emotionally gotten through it, which is why Billy Jensen and Paul Haynes were able to step up. So people go, wow, you finished Michelle's book. I'm like, no, I handed the materials over to two geniuses and begged them to help bring it home. And they did. And it's just like with this documentary, it was Liz Garbus, who is, I just heard the level that she operates on as a documentarian and, and as a filmmaker is, you know, it, it's kind of humbling to watch what she was able to put together and it's something that I never could have done. I am a tiny element of this much bigger story, you know, when you see the documentary. So um, that, that was my thinking of it is for her legacy and for these, these women that survived this, this absolute, <sighs> it just, just this, absolute evil insect of a person and and to you know i've met some of the survivors and some of the victims at, at book events and stuff and it's the most it's so like humbling to see that although she never had a badge and a gun michelle always was one of us you'll be silent forever and i'll be gone in the dark you threatened a victim open the door show us your face walk into the light